Hi guys. Now these bands have turkey free back catalogs. Before I continue, I just want you to go and check out Fresh Metal Band Still Mage. Links will be in the description. Now nobody wants to waste their time listening to a bad album. Even Metal's greatest bands have come up with some pretty bad albums in the years. Metallica have Saint Anger, Megadeth have Super Collider, and even Black Sabbath have Forbidden. This is why it's so impressive when artists pull off the perfect streak, only ever releasing quality music. And I'll be showing you bands that have just done that. Now in this video, I'm only including bands that have made five or more albums, but we're also focusing on quality over quantity. Making, five, making perfect five albums is better than making 18 average ones, right? When Tool ended their 13 year dry spell with Fear Inoculum in 2019, the folk metal heavyweights have told themselves a streak of five back-to-back -back powerhouses. Listening to their back catalogue chronologically, you can hear the Californians evolve, starting with Undertow, Intellectuals Grunge, and concluding with their latest in its corpus of up to 60 minute long epics, with each new album Maynard & Co have ever upped the ante. When people think great at the great albums, their minds used to go to Slaughter at the Soul, 1995's Mellow, Death Magnum Opus. However, the sweet other four albums are brilliant as well. Whether it's the straight ahead brutality of Red in the Sky's Owls and with the Rockets to Burn Darkness or the modern sophistication that all with reality and to drink from the night itself, you really can't go wrong. Carcass are preeminent heroes in multiple shop genres. The first two albums were beloved parts of the historical scene, while the 90s hard work and songs improved, key in shaping below death metal and death and roll respectively. Not even a near 20 year hiatus could stop the Brits. Since, since Comeback, Surgical Still murdered all of their past successes into one morbid melting pot. When the Dillinger Escape Plan called it quits in 2017, guitarist Ben Ryman said that they did so because they wanted to go, go put on top at their peak. And considering they left behind a spotless record, it was mission accomplished. Dillinger's six albums are all erratic as experimental medical masterpieces with not a weak link among them. Where do you start with these geniuses? It doesn't matter, since you're at least pretty much guaranteed to love it. All of Alces's music exists on the spectrum. On one end, the beautiful shoot, beautiful shoegaze, and on the other, raw black metal. For six albums, Niege and his cohorts have been exploring the territory between these two poles, making themselves constant the unpredictable and the best part is whether it's the serenity of shelter or Ecle de Lune concise melodies the Frenchmen always shine as gorgeous as they are heavy houses are just perfect <sighs> the cheerless intense pulse pounding approach to technical death metal has never grown old as proven by all six of their albums each of them barring the emotive and in introspective magma is full of destructive crescendos powered by titanic riffs and breakdowns. Every song brutalizes but also has an understanding melody as well as sublime cuts of Guilt of Guilt and Ouroboros. Hell, even their EPs range from good to genius. Drummer Gene Hoagland put it best when he said Death pioneered three time genres of music. The Chuck Shoulder led juggernaut invented death metal on their debut album before growing more and more complex to the point of refining technical death metal with that's like one's human. Then on the harmonic symbolic, the band became America's first mellow death outfit. Never stagnant and always revolutionary, death are easily among heavy music's all-time greats. Now in metal and punk in the most volatile ways, Converge have been on a worldwide attraction since their 2001 breakthrough with Jane Doe. It's now held as one of heavy music's finest moments, but the band's albums, both before and afterwards, still hold up against it. Whether you go to old school with In the Halo and the Haystack or the use of Dusk in us to keep it recent, you're guaranteed a metal core of A quality. Never dull and always pissed off. Even 11 albums, Gothenburg's Dark Tranquility have always been testing the limits of mellow death, imbuing the genre with goth, tech metal, and power metal. As a result, their discography is infallible and always dynamic. While the gallery is an always private shred of fun, Projected is a hyper catchy trap and the tone is filled with chilling lament. They aren't as popular as Adigate's Boy Flames, but Dark Tranquility are almost consistently the masterful Swedish death metal act. How is it even possible for a band to make 13 fantastic albums? It shouldn't be. Yet yeah, My Dying Bride have pulled, off, pulled that off. 
They've been the masters of doom metal for 30 years, taking it to new heights and strength oriented compositions and operatic structuring. From songs like She Is The Dark to Your Broken Shore will always be epic and even their deviations from Formula 34.788% complete maintain enough grandeur to work amazingly. Don't forget to check out Fresh Metal Band Still Mage, links in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.